Yo. So yeah, man. Um, actually, let me yeah, turn this one. Um, um, I'm in the camera. This is episode number one of what I'm gonna call the Ito Kitchen. Um, with Wadada and Kazaya and Kazaya, yeah, man, yeah, you go. Kazaya and Wadada. There we go, because <laughs> the K before the W, so oh, Kazaya oh, and Wadada. Oh. So, all right, we go. she's, a Plus, she's the, the queen, so queen coming before the king, so we're gonna do it that way. I will. Um, I will. but yeah, man, we about to show just a simple it's something. Uh, last week, um, His Majesty's uh, 127 Earth Strong Alibration, we had a meal prepared by. The two that we're talking about now with Dada and Kazaya. And I was like, man, I think the, the people should know how to put this together. It's tasty. It's wonderful. It's veggies. And everybody like, man, how can I eat good and have it taste good? So it tastes good for I. So I want ones to know how to go about making something simple. So, so. Cool, cool. Okay, I need to get the seasoning. No I problem. Know. I'll start. Yo, what going on, everybody? His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie, be blessed, you know? 127 yes, years. Bless up Mama Men and I, too, Queen Omega. Yes, sir. Mama Omega, who keeps us balanced, you know? So give thanks and praise to everybody who love Far Right, who love Rasta culture, who love the energy, like the man say. We're just trying to share. We're not no authorities, and we're just trying to share what we do so y'all can see what we're going, you know? So um, I know some Rasta, they don't eat rice, but some Rasta eat rice. I'm a rice, so I eat rice more time, and so you go. But um, rice not always the best, so a little disclaimer. But for that being said, I do have some brown rice. Dr. Sebi say black rice, but I really like this brown rice. Yeah, I can't let it go. I can let it go. <laughs> but you know. I mean, we do have some black rice. If you want. No, no, we're good. No, we're good. We're gonna use this this locally sourced brown rice. Yes. Okay? That's why it's in this bag. It's just a random local thing. So anyway. So what we're gonna cook is some black bean simple meal. This is called a budget meal. Like when we on our budget vibes and we gotta make food happen on a whole some level, nutritionally speaking. Good old blacky black. Black beans. And yeah, they're not dry. I would suggest getting dried, you know, to be the highest grade of things, is to get dried beans. But being that we're in a little movement and we're making it happen fast. We got some canned beans. Yeah, because the dried beans, you have to soak them overnight yeah, you to gotta... get them soft because they'll take like all day to boil. And exactly. Get soft. And if you still feel a way about the dried the canned beans because of the solution and whatever's in there, you could pour these out and wash them off, soak which what we're going to do, we're going to wash them off. But some people also soak them as well. So, um, yeah, just hold, hold that thought because I'll take over from here. All right. So, you start with the rice? All right. All right, so we got the brown rice here. And what I do, I open the package. We have one together. I'm gonna press the box in. You got a lot of demonstration right now. Mm -hmm. You got random money, sir. Random. What about you? Everybody, this is the you, Jack Chris. Young Ross coming up, man. Young you, you coming in, in the area. Nigo Heist. Nigo Heist listening to his new song called Hustle 24 <laughs> 7. Yeah, well. <laughs> this, ain't that, this ain't made up, man. It's all happening right now, yeah, live in front, like, no, just eat. So, because I put the rice in here, right? So, this is just what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash it a little bit. And then, what I'm gonna do after that is just put enough rice water to be like this much. I don't have measuring cups, so about this much over the rice itself. And then we're gonna let it cook in a rice cooker. And the difference between brown rice and white rice, white rice cooks a lot faster. This one takes about maybe 30 minutes. So you have to put more water just so it can like really get to the nice texture. So. I'm just gonna wash it. Like, if you wanna come over and see this, man, you can. Ain't nothing spectacular. Yeah, no. Just for them to see over. I just yeah. kind of swish it around and let all of that yeah. extra stuff kind of come off of the rice because they sometimes spray the rice with nutrients and you see how the water is getting hazier. These are the little speckles and stuff that come off. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna take off all the little speckles, kind of swish it around, get the dust off of it. I'm just going to keep straining it until the water gets clear. See? Keep going. In the meantime, I'm going to be prepping for the black beans. So, what I do, I first put up 
the base. So I have onion, scotch bonnet, tomato, garlic. Right? Uh, um, so I, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it up. The scotch bonnet now, I'll just show you first. I don't bust it. I don't like completely open it. So what I'll do, I just create a couple of slits in it just to get the flavor. Right? Um, for the onion, I just go ahead and cut some slices. Holder. I want to see, it's a step yeah, by step. Yeah. Uh, no, we're actually step by step, step tutorial. Oh, we'll grab some, but you, you cannot watch and say you don't know. Before she goes into that, I just want to show these, these viewers if, you, if they can come over here. Yeah. yeah, she's prepping and cutting, right? This water is getting clear now. You see the rice? Yes, sir. It's getting clear now. Just put in the sea now. Yeah, man. Yeah, so you see how it's yeah, I'm clear. shaking it and it's still. Yeah, it's hazy. It's still a little hazy. I'm gonna drain it off one more time. But it's good in there. I know some people don't do this, but I do it. Worth it. Yeah, you know. This one, you see the package. Got is a local store. In the area. I think you said that earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Always on the grind. Well, nice. What is this? Eat it, man. It's a fruit feather. <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet, too, bro. Nice. Nah, that yeah, one's nice, bro. I'm not flogging it off. Oh, I'm gonna put some things on it, but that's secret. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes good as hell. If you don't want to get them. I mean, they got the this is like I ain't make a mose. When you record that one, this morning? Yeah, we record that one this morning. Okay. I'll have to hear it. I haven't heard it yet. Watch it. And then with the garlic, I'm just crushing it out to get the flavor. More. Yeah. Fruit leather. Fruit leather. Let's add a little bit of this all spice to it, you know? It's, it's an all seasoning, you know? It's bacon. Not all spice, like as a you know? Not pimento all spice, but like a seasoning that got like celery, you know, different herbs, rosemary, and things all mixed up in it. Yeah. So just bear with I know. Next thing I want to do is add a little oil because I don't have butter. I'm um, using vegan butter. It's called, um, what's it called again? Herb balance. Herb balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Herb balance. Ah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, so I just put a little, little butter on it usually so that it, it separates nice when it's done. And it don't stick, you know? Herb. So a little oil don't hurt. Same thing. The oil, the butter we use is made from olive oil anyway. See? Hopefully I put enough water in here. I'm using ancestral measuring techniques. <laughs> what do you think, Kazai? A little, a little bit more. That's what I feel. Yeah. I want to show you a little trick too. You notice. That my ancestor tweets me. We're back to the local bit. You know, I have to do it like this. A little bit more. Uh-huh. Yeah. Remember the little bit man I talk about? I'm gonna use the fork to test it. Look. Which one? Um, you see that? You Look how little it is. That's good enough. You see the fork under the water? Yes, sir. Zoom in good on that thing. That's how my ancestor teach me how to do that. Actually, my stepmother. <laughs> yeah. White rice is a little different water ratio. It's a little less. You don't put that much. 
that is the start of the show now, y'all. I'm I'm pretty much done with my part until further notice. You, um, is the the burner on? Yeah, everything's plugged in. Alright, for sure. Oh, one okay. more thing. Cause you know we gotta be dummy proof. Cover the pot. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna I'm warming up that pot there because you know we're using burners and it takes a little while. So just let me heat up as I cut up these green beans. And the next thing I'm gonna do is open the can, strain it, and wash it. Yeah. Step by step tutorial, you see. And when you watch this video, make sure you share with someone else. Yeah. Just make sure you wash your hands before you do all this stuff. Yeah, now nah, keep this information to yourself. Alright. If you didn't notice a common thing is sanitation on it on the whole process. Pre process, doing the process. All that stuff is coming off. I'm gonna do all of that off. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, the one to the process cleaning. Yeah, everything chopped up. Yeah, man, be cool, man, be Come on, strong guys. Oh, strong, sir. <laughs> no, you can't throw it. I apologize. These guys be good. Yeah, man, bless up, man. Yeah, man. Good thing. That's funny, man. That's funny. Yeah, bless up, bro. Bless up. So then we're washing the beans? Yeah, man. Okay, so everything balanced, man. I'm getting in the waiting. <laughs> All right. So, oh, can you do me a favor? Can you give me? Actually, no, it's okay. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so there's two ways you can do it. You can put like the base oh. first, or you can put the seasoning in the oil. So, so that way, that's how it like yeah, really permeates, permeates and stuff. So here I have thyme, basil, some of the spike. Then we have some of the spice sauce, the scotch bonnet. Yeah. Um, that will give it a little bit of the spice from the scotch bonnet because I didn't cut it open where the seeds are like fully showing then it won't really be that hot here's garlic and onion powder I don't really need to use a lot I just still add a little bit and then some turmeric powder I brought from the house so. <laughs> yes all right so now we stop what is Amazon bro and I don't measure. I've never seen a desert I just guesstimate. I've never seen a desert show. Alright. So, basil. Put a little bit of it. Oh, 
So you see in the actual scotch on it, there's you see all the pepper and stuff in it. Sweetened. There's different brands mm -hmm. that we use. I'm gonna mix it around. Make sure there's nothing. Sometimes there's like, you know, fat in the coconut, yeah, yeah. and then it kind of prevents it from going in. Yeah. I didn't have an opener, so <laughs> the top's kind yeah, of see. hinted. <laughs> but it's okay. We make it work. See, we're not doing no measuring. It's no. my eye, you just, just have to really feel. Really. I was getting something water. So there you have the ingredients. Mm. This is some time after <laughs> holding eyes, but you see, you see the thing. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Making my head hurt thinking about it. So, like a lot of this part right here probably even be cut just to. Just to that's what you should look at, something like. This is like in the battlefield settings because this ain't no stove or nothing. We just plug up some electrics in a bobby round and this is some concrete jungle, jungle thing. Everything was good. You never believe. Yeah. And there you have it. So. Simple little budget meal, you know? Yeah, man. Beans and rice like the ancients.